biology of amoeba, biology of amoeba. So when you talk about amoeba, amoeba is a species under the species under uh, sarcodina. So we are going to consider the habitat of amoeba. Under the biology, we are going to talk about the structure of amoeba. We are going to talk about the, uh, the locomotion. How do amoeba move? Locomotion under the biology, the nutrition of feeding in amoeba. Feeding, we have a uh, gaseous exchange or respiration. Respiration in amoeba. Amoeba also carry out. Uh, a small regulation, small regulation, excretion, excretion, and finally reproduction. So that is uh, what we want to talk about. Amoeba. We're going to know how amoeba. So first of all, what is the habitat? Ab habitat of amoeba is the habitat of amoeba is a freshwater. They are usually found in you know, pond, stagnant water, you know, those are where they can be found, fresh water, precisely stagnant water, not flowing, stagnant water, that is where you can find amoeba. When we have to talk about the structure now, the structure of amoeba, amoeba is, amoeba is, uh, you know, doesn't have a definite shape when you talk about the structure. It is about 0.035 micrometer, very small in diameter. And the body is divided into two main parts. Two main parts. We have two main parts. We have the outer ectoderm and the inner endoderm. So there are two main parts. Let me draw the structure of amoeba. This is our nucleus, our food vacuum, the tractor vacuum. So this is our ectoderm. This is our endoderm. We have the nucleus. We have the food vacuum. We have the contractor. So this is the structure of amoeba, and we have the pseudopodium. Pseudopodium. So this is the structure of amoeba. So when you talk about amoeba, as you can see, the body is without shape. So the outer ectoderm is usually uh, consists of a semi-solid, semi-solid, while the inner endoderm is usually liquid. So the structure, the outer ectoderm is densely, and the inner, that is the endoderm, consists of the food vacuum the nucleus, the contractor vacuum. So that is the structure of amoeba. So when we talk about locomotion in amoeba, how do amoeba move? Movement in amoeba is called amoeboid movement. Amoeboid movement. That is how amoeba moves. And this movement is achieved by, you know, cytoplasmic flow, by the uh, what is it called? Pseudopodia. Pseudopodia aid movement in amoeba. This pseudopodia is a projection from the temporal projection from the body, like from the cytoplasm. 
So the cytoplasm flows, you know, and this flow is as a result of response to external stimulus, and that will change the position. So when this uh, cytoplasm will want to flow, there is a theory called so gel so theory of amoeboid movement. So let's say the the outer part, which is the ectoderm, uh, is a semi-solid, while the inner, which is uh, endoderm, is a liquid. So the outer part, the first thing is that the endoderm projects, which is a liquid, so it converts to semi-solid. That is so to gel first as a result of a uh, response. So then, afterward, the inner, the outer ectoderm will now convert back to, you know, endoderm. That is what is referred to as conversion of gel, gel, back to soul. So we have soul to gel and gel to soul. And that will make the movement to occur. Their movement is just changing position. And that's as a result of maybe external stimulus. Maybe they are responding to light or chemical or food, so they will be able to change position. So that is achieved by you know conversion of the endoderm into that is liquid to a uh, semi-solid, then semi-solid back to liquid. So this one is called the after endoderm is the the out the e outer ectoderm is the plus That is semi solid plus one gel, while the inner endoderm is the plus muscle. So there is conversion of outer, so that results in movement of the organism, amoeboid movement. Other cells, like the red blood cell, also carry out this type of movement. So that is movement in amoeba. It is as a result of so gel so theory conversion of the outer inner endoderm to a semi solid, which later result to conversion of the outer endoderm into outer ectoderm into liquid, and that change the position. So let's move ahead to feeding in amoeba. We'll talk about feeding in amoeba. Amoeba feed with the aid of uh, engulfing. Yeah, we call it engulfing. Or what we call phagocytosis. Phagocytosis. That is feeding in amoeba. So amoeba has a pseudopodia. Yes. So when the amoeba discovers the food, the pseudopodia will coil around the food and it will carry out engulfing. So it will engulf the food and after this engulfing, it will secrete uh, enzymes. So the food will not enter into the food vacuum where it meets with water. So the food will enter into the food vacuum. So the digestion of food takes place in the food vacuum after engulfing as a cup. So let's say this is the part. So the cytoplasm will coil around the food. This is what is referred to as engulfing. As because the cytoplasm can be. So when this food uh, is being digested, so this will not turn to food vacuum. So after the digestion has taken place as a result of enzyme, the digested product will move into the body while the undigested product will be left behind. So that is feeding in amoeba. Then we also have respiration now. However, however, amoeba feed on algae, they feed on algae, bacteria, you know, in the water. That is what they feed on. Then we talk about the respiration of gaseous exchange. Gaseous exchange occur as a result of simple diffusion through the cell membrane. You know, simple diffusion through the cell membrane.
Oh, I didn't label the cell membrane. Cell membrane. This cell membrane. They have a cell membrane. So there is. They are large of. They have large surface area to volume ratio. So simple division is enough to cater for their, you know, excess gas. So they exchange gas to the environment because inside there is high concentration of gases. So these gases can diffuse outside. That is what is fast to a simple diffusion. Then we also talk about the osmoregulation. That is a maintenance of water balance, salt balance, and that is done by the contractor vacuum. Osmoregulation. Osmoregulation, that is carried by contractor vacuum. Contractor vacuum. So the contractor vacuum helps to maintain you know, normal body uh, water and uh, salt. So then we also have the excretion now. Major, their excretion product is nitrogenous material. Uh, excretion. Excretion, we have nitrogenous material, and this nitrogenous material are released out of the body as a result of diffusion as well. And this passes out through the cell surface membrane. So the body can release waste products through the cell membrane, but the waste product is a nitrogenous material that is uh, by diffusion as well. Then we also have reproduction. So when we talk about reproduction in amoeba, amoeba carry out uh, asexual reproduction by binary fission. Amoeba carry out asexual reproduction by binary fission. So when we talk about binary fission in amoeba, binary fission in amoeba, the body, the whole amoeba consists of uh, the body as well as the nucleus. The nucleus performs the work of um, re uh, reproduction. That is binary fission. So when the nucleus, the first thing is that the nucleus will carry, the nuclear membrane will carry out mitosis, cell division. Let's say this is our amoeba cell and this is our nucleus. So the first thing is that the nucleus will start to divide, which is a mitosis, mitotic cell division. So after mitosis has taken place, the nucleus will split into two, and this precede, and this is followed by cytokinesis, division of the cell membrane. So when the nucleus are successfully split into two, the amoeba will now carry out what we call division of the cell membrane. So we have two. And finally, we have two amoeba. And finally, we have two amoeba. One nucleus, one nucleus. So this is how binary fusion occur in amoeba. So the mother amoeba will carry out mitosis, and the cell, uh, the, my, the the nucleus will start division. So after mitosis has taken place. We have two nucleus, nuclei, then it's followed by cytokinesis, division of cytoplasm, and after division of cytoplasm, there are two amoeba. So this is, this is what we call binary fusion in amoeba. So that is how amoeba carry out their 